Ang dami sa inyo na nangungulit sa akin na i-review na natin ang Xiaomi Pad 6. I know that this one is the successor ng sobrang sikat na Xiaomi Pad 5. And in this video, after natin i-unbox on the previous video, papakita ko sa inyo lahat ang kailangan nyo malaman dito sa tablet na ito before you even consider buying this. Sulit ba siya? Okay ba ang performance? Okay ba siya for daily usage? Pati yung mga accessories, tatalakayin natin right after this quick intro. So hi guys, I'm Marcel Ritron, the Gadget Sidekick And welcome back to my channel Ito Xiaomi Pad 6 na may 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage Will be priced at $20,999 And meron siyang early bird price na $17,999 And of course, there's another variant Ang 8256 would be priced at $21,999 It's just 1,000 peso difference and mas malaki ka ng storage And ang kanang early bird rate would be $19,999 More details on the description below. Now, this Xiaomi Pad Pen second generation will be priced at three thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and this very versatile na Xiaomi keyboard will be priced at three thousand four hundred ninety nine. Now, if you buy the Xiaomi Pad Six, you'll be getting a thirty percent off dito sa mga accessories during the early bird sale. Now, one of the things that okay na okay dito sa tablet na ito is okay ang kanan design. Square na square sa flat na flat ang likod niya, and ang sides niya is very easy to hold. Meron siyang aluminum metal finish, so definitely very durable siya. And another thing na mapapansin nyo din is ang kanang camera module which looks simply like the Xiaomi 13 and Xiaomi 13 Pro. And meron siyang apat na speakers dito, dalawa sa taas and dalawa dito sa ilalim which is powered by Dolby Atmos by the way. Now the next thing na siguro itatanong niyo sa akin is support ba niya ang mga SIM card, LTE or 5G? Probably wala siya. Pati micro SD expansion na wala rin siya magkakaroon ba ng Pro variant sa global? Tinanong na natin si Xiaomi and they told me that ang global release would be the Xiaomi Pad 6. The Pro variant would stay in China only. Now, itong tablet na ito is being powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870. It's just a little bit of a step up from the Snapdragon 860 na meron sa Xiaomi Pad 5. And alam naman natin gano'ng kaganda ang performance na meron ni 870 though it's not one of the latest. It could have been si 8 plus Gen 1 at the very least dito, para at least medyo decent na kind of performance. But alam natin, 870 is probably more than enough for a tablet. Kasi you won't be doing that much gaming din naman dito sa tablet. Now, swiping left and right dito sa tablet is very fast. Thanks to its 144Hz na screen refresh rate, which is a bump up from the 120 di Xiaomi Pad 5. Now, ang kanya 11-inch na display supports WQHD Plus na display with 309 TPI. And ang screen niya is certified by TUV Rainland for having a low blue light emission. And of course, it's being protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Now, para sa kanya refresh rate, you can play between 60, 90, and 144. Well, probably ang missing option na dito is the 120 hertz of screen refresh rate. Pwede mo rin nilaraw mga colors na dito to make it looks better when you're watching videos dito sa tablet na ito. Now, one of the best thing to do dito is to browse your social media, be it Facebook, TikTok, or other social apps. And browsing on this one, pag swipe mo, mafeel mo talaga ang smooth niya. Walang walas yung sabi. Especially when you have a good internet connection, expect good browsing experience dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6. Now I could watch shorts all day long dito. Dito sa YouTube, sa TikTok, sa IG or even sa Facebook Reels to. Okay na okay siya. Very smooth ang kanyang transition and ang sarap sa mata ang mga pinapanood ko dito. Now, itong tablet ito also has a level 1 na wideband security level. So, meaning pwede ka manood ng mga HD ito, bits at Netflix, sa YouTube, or your other online na streaming apps. Panalong panalo ito. Now, I watch some of my favorite films dito, like yung mga animes, watching some basketball games, watching some Korean novela dito, even watching some movies. Okay na okay siya dito. Ang ganda na kanyang viewing experience. And what's also nice din dito sa kanya is symmetrical ang kanyang bezel dito. So, parang nanonood ka lang sa mga TV, it's exactly the same sa lahat ng kanto. Checking ang Tutu Benchmark na akuha siya ng 756,000 points. E pag break down natin, this is the score that you'll be getting. This is the 128 gigs of storage na variant, by the way. And ito naman ang score na makukuha mo dito sa Wildlife. Dito sa Geekbench sa CPU Benchmark, this is the score. And this is the score naman sa kanyang GPU na benchmarking sa Geekbench. Now, tinay naman natin i-throttle to for roughly 5 cycles and the score is almost the same. This is what I got. 
and what's nice is 86% ng kanyang throttling dito sa processor niya and I would say na okay na okay to this is the score and for me it's very favorable dito sa tablet na ito now one of the highlights din dito sa kanya is to be able to use some of its accessories like ito ang cover na ang ganda niya I would say na ang ganda ng kanyang color tong color blue this is the uh, Xiaomi Pad 6 na case which is very smooth leather like finish ang kanyang meron and pwede mo rin siyang gawing uh, tablet stand. Gagawin mo lang siya tobleran dito para makapagtayo just like that. Now, if you want to opt for a keyboard, there's another one. Itong Xiaomi keyboard na para sa Pad 6 of course, uh, kanya-kanyang uh, version, kanya-kanyang butas. No? So, hindi rin siya pareho sa Pad 5. So, yung, yung keyboard na Pad 5, you won't be able to carry it over dito sa Pad 6. So, magnet din siya. So, pag mo siya dito, it's just like that. Cover. Though you'll be seeing na medyo mas may kunting thickness siya dito dahil may kasama siyang keyboard but I would say that this is for me the better option dahil iba ang typing experience when you're using a keyboard na physical o versus yung nasa screen so mas madali mag-type di hamak sa keyboard and you can type faster as compared sa touch screen so if you want to make this into a stand iangat mo lang siya then click Ganun lang siya. So, mapapansin mo dito, may tatlong parang pin dito. I-coconnect lang niya dito sa tatlong terminals dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 para magmabasa niya ang keyboard. Now, tinay ko naman type dito sa tablet na ito and I can see na ang typing experience is like no other. Probably maybe a little bit more pump up from the Xiaomi Pad 5. Ang experience niya is also good but parang mas satisfied ako mag-type dito. Siguro, sa kanyang, ano, ginandahan niya ergonomics dito, medyo mas pinalambot na kunti ang keys niya, better in travel, better in spacing, and better yung typing experience dito. So, I did type some documents dito for work, and yeah, okay na okay siya, no? Even though na uh, I'm on the go, nakapagtrabaho na maayos dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6. Now, another accessories that I would highly recommend na bilhin nyo rin is the Xiaomi Smart Pen second generation. Itong pen na ito works not only on the Xiaomi Pad 6 but it also works on the Xiaomi Pad 5. Now, ang kanyang first generation na pen would only work for 5 and hindi mo rin siya makikerry over dito sa version 6 which is the current version. Now, tinay ko naman mag-doodle dito sa tablet na ito and the experience was really nice and probably I'm not really an expert doing some doodling dito sa mga tablet and not really an expert pagdating sa drawing. But I did find it enjoyable taking some notes dito sa tablet na ito, especially when you have a pen that is very responsive like this. Parang ball pen lang o parang lapis lang. Lalo lang kung pwede mo palitan mga color habang nagdududal na pwede mo iba-iba color, iba mag-growing, which makes it fun. And pwede mo siya screenshot and print, which makes it a lot better than compared to drawing it on the paper na kailangan mo magbura. Ito, backspace ka lang, burado na. More eco-friendly. Kung kailangan mo rin mag-sign ng mga documents, e-signature, kayang-kaya nito pen na ito. For me, ang dami ko sinasign na documents on a daily basis. Probably this is one of my good friends pagdating sa e-signature. Itong Xiaomi Smart Pen version 2. Now, in order for me to charge this one, iwanin ko lang siya dito sa ibabaw. And in a little bit, makita mo, nag-charge na siya. Ayan, charging. Ang ganda dito sa kanya is mabilis siya i-charge unlike yung mga ibang ano no, uh, tablet like the Huawei MatePad 11.5. Kailangan mo pa magkabit ng dongle sa kanyang Type-C port to be able to charge this one. Which I think is not very convenient for me, most of us kasi uh, carrying an extra dongle to charge is parang hassle. No? Once in a while mo, it's also hassle. Unlike this one, kakabit ko lang dito. Ganun lang. Wala na problema. No? Just Ingat ka lang na huwag siya masundot kasi matatanggal agad siya. Ayan, kunting sundot lang, laglag na. Now, itong tablet nito is running on Android 13 and ang kanyang UI is the Xiaomi MIUI 14.0.4, ang kanyang latest. Alam naman natin si Xiaomi MIUI 14 is a heavily customized na Android system which gives you a lot of mga customizable things to do dito. Like mga dual app, second space, okay na okay dito gamitin especially when you want to separate your work life balance and napansin ko rin dito sa kanya wala siya masyadong bloatware dito sa loob so definitely goods the good siya as compared sa mga ibang previous na Xiaomi MIUI version na medyo maraming bloatware na 
kailangan ko tanggalin no? By far dito, wala pa ako natatanggal ni Isa. So naglaro naman tayo ng couple of games dito like si CODM and si PUBG. I would say na okay naman ang kanyang experience dito. I would say na buy a game controller na wireless to give you that better experience or playing. Siguro, there are some people na mga expert level, level 999 na naglalaro ng CODM na gumagamit ng tablet on six fingers, no? Touch. Hindi ko kaya yun eh. But sabi nila, the best experience ng CODM is to use a tablet and with six fingers na pang control no but i find it a bit hard but for some it's definitely fun ang gameplay dito sa kanya is for me okay naman siya wala naman masyado na papansin na frame drops dahil si CODM okay naman kaya na magtakbo on his Snapdragon 870 and what's fun din sa kanya is ang laki ng viewing angle yung kanyang sound by the way guys is okay na okay ang lakas pakinggan nito So ano masasabi niyo guys? Ang lakas ng kanyang quad speaker for me ah, on this room. Na feel siya ng with sounds and for me enjoyable na enjoyable siya. If you're listening to Spotify or just watching videos on Netflix or you're just playing a simple game dito sa tablet na ito. I'm pretty sure mag-enjoy ka with your the full family or the full parkada. Now ang tablet na ito has a massive battery. 8840 mAh battery supporting up to 33 watts na fast charging ni Xiaomi. And ang tablet na ito, chinarge ko from 10 to 100. It takes me roughly just an hour and a half to complete the full charging cycle. Which to my surprise, it's quite fast ha, para sa isang malaking battery size na itong tablet na ito. And with that massive battery size, hindi siya super duper bigat. It's just around 490 grams, even lighter than other. There are some other tablets though that of the same size, weighing at around uh, 550 grams more than a half a kilo is quite heavy ito 490 well heavy naman siya but pag hinawakan mo naman hindi naman sobrang ganun kapigat now niran ko ang battery stress test nito sa tablet na ito under 50% brightness and nilagay ko sa 90 hertz of screen refresh rate and nakakuha tayo ng 12 hours and 14 minutes na screen on time which for me is quite impressive na for a tablet of this size normally makakuha lang ako mga 10 hours having happy na ako no? but 90 hertz the screen refresh rate and 12 hours siguro if kung nilagay ko to sa 60 na hertz might be siguro a, li a little about mga nasa 14 hours ang kanyang screen on time but basically this is just a benchmark what's more important is ang akin daily usage dito sa tablet na ito uh, using it for roughly mga 3 weeks na rin dito and I'm quite enjoying this one lalo watching videos dito binge watching is definitely good and typing, typing some documents dito I'm really satisfied and giving it a whole day. Kaya kaya naman niya. Uh, as long as hindi ako nagi games naman and mostly naman na connect sa Wi-Fi doing some video chatting, it survived a one whole day na endurance dito. Or sometimes even a little bit more than one day. Na ito ang tablet dito, like I said, meron siyang mukhang Xiaomi 13 na camera module dito sa likod, which looks like a flagship na look. But would it perform even like a flagship? Meron siyang 13MP na single camera sa likod, then a 8MP na shooter dito sa harap. Ang likod niya can shoot up to 4K and 30, and ang harap niya can only shoot up to 1080 and 30. I'm not really asking for more on the tablet and gusto nang natin just to see some quick shots dito dahil normally when I'm using the camera of a tablet is just to take some documents on my table, send it to whoever needs my document or just taking some quick snaps ng mga products. Not much kasi I don't really use a tablet for photography to be honest with you. Yung except siguro kind of front facing camera to use it for Zoom meeting, Viber chat. But I did take the extra effort to go outdoors and take some shots na using the rear camera which I normally don't on a tablet to find out na there are some really nice shots na nakuha ko dito using the rear camera. To my surprise, some of these shots are quite sharp and kumuha lang ako ng mga snaps dito just on our uh, mga salabas sa garden and most of these shots are really good and taking it to the coffee shop, uh, I would say na okay din, even na medyo low light din ang situation. But there are some times na hindi natin may iwasang medyo maging grainy siya. But nevertheless, it was able to take in some really decent shot. Not nice, not the best, but decent shots na pwede mo ipang send as documents or pwede mo post just a quick post sa Instagram or sa Facebook. Kaya-kaya naman. And taking some food shots din, it ain't really that bad either. 
Now, tinay ko naman ang front-facing camera niya on outdoor situation and not bad. Not bad ang mga uh, photos na nakuha natin. And even bringing it further sa low light sa loob ng coffee shop, okay din mga snaps. No? But there are times na talagang grainy, hindi mo talagang maiwasan. And taking it one quick snap din dito sa loob ng studio, this is how it looks like. Now, tinay ko naman mag-shoot some video using the front-facing camera on outdoor and indoor. I can say na very decent ang kanyang video. But of course, on indoor low light, mapapansin mo medyo grainy kasi it's not meant for really nice photography itong camera niya. But I would say it's decent. Basta bigyan mo ng magandang ilaw, it could really perform. And using the rear camera uh, habang naglalakad on the garden, 4K and 30, okay ang kanyang video. Sharp siya, but one of the problem na napansin ko is medyo sometimes focus hunting siya. Yun na napansin ko sa kanya, even though other videos, basta as long as you're moving with this tablet, medyo mag-focus hunt siya. Siguro ang analysis ko dyan is mas gagamitin mo tong camera na for still video more than moving video kasi since it's a tablet. Now guys, ano masasabi ko dito sa tablet na ito? The Xiaomi Pad 6. First of all, it has probably exceeded my expectation and even exceeded yung performance ni Xiaomi Pad 5. Given that this one is really nice and versatile, you can bring this anywhere. If you pen is responsive, if keyboard is very good. And what's nice din dito sa kanya, isang kanyang price is at around 21999 you can get a steel din sa kanyang price 19999 sa kanyang 256 variant and you can get a steel na kanyang early bird rate na 17999 para sa kanyang 128 gigs of storage now would i recommend tong tablet na ito si Xiaomi Pad 6 personally i love this tablet so there's no way na sabi ko sa inyo hindi ko siya ma-recommend kasi dalagang okay na okay siya ang sarap niyang gamitin sarap bitbitin and probably one of the best things dito sa kanya is ang sarap mag-binge watch dito sa tablet na ito. Now, if you want to know kung saan na pwede mabili ito officially, I'll be linking everything on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit the bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss mga future uploads here from my channel. And so, ako para si Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Watch out! Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.